Hey, Happy New Year's, everyone. Let's make this exciting for all of us, for you and yours. You know, it's a choice to be incredible in this world, and, we, and that's what we choose to be, especially if you're here watching these videos. I could keep you and go get into it. Um, I don't go big with it because I think it'll be uh, messed up on the screen. So we'll just keep it right here. But this is the plan for how we're going to go about trying to maximize. And I didn't put my angle. And I, I guess I'll just keep that at the end for my bit of um, my mentality of the, the how long I think, you know, the, the, the this plan will be enacted. Long and short, and we get to it pretty quick. Boom, we go stack X jewel, but that's not our main goal. But it's important, super important. We're going to maximize compounding in the gardens. This is what we're doing in the game now. And I we got a lot. We'll show real quick. We got um, we'll do a bit of compounding into um, jewel in one shortly because we did. It's been about two or three days since I stacked up. Um, since I've harvested, so we have a bit um, stacked up. We're going to level up our heroes, and by level up, that means doing quests and everything else that come out that give them experience points because that matters when you summon. So I haven't summoned heroes since I've discovered, which was, I don't know, however long ago, that the experience of the parents matter in the, in the heroes they summon. So next time I'll probably summon heroes would be about when my character is all around level five. And I'm going to do a video where I'll show more about my individual characters and my, my thought process on that as well but that's a whole other um topic four we will acquire land if possible um you know not depending on how much it costs and the expense of it, it may be beyond but if can you know acquire land so these are the plans if do the best you can to enact these Five, prepare for the new chains, and by that we will have Jewel on that chain. Like, for example, we know that Crystal Veil vale has been announced for Avalanche, so we will have a little bit of Jewel on Avalanche already, just sitting there, you know, not necessarily staking anything, gaining um, pangolin uh, coins. I don't want anything like that. I just have a little bit of Jewel there when everything is ready, as soon as I hear about it, but not much, you know. Five jewel, ten jewel, whatever you may have that can spare. Put a little bit there ready. I'm not sure if they're doing snapshots of that chain, but as soon as we can, I have a little bit of jewel there. Also, next, I have, um, like I said, going back to number one, I have my X jewel in the bank because we know they're doing, and possibly if when you go to Phantom and Matic Crystal, we may have to have stack as well, X, X Crystal, because we know that. They are doing snapshots of what you have in the in the bank in terms of X jewel for the next chain. This is important. And then on that new chain, I'm in the gardens on day one. I'm deep in the gardens because, you know, the APR is going to be nice in the gardens deep. Try to get a Gen Zero hero if possible. Acquire land on that new chain if possible. These are all things you want to try to do. And this is not last, but it's very important. We're going to take profits. Very important. When do you take profits? Say you put in, for example, my friends, we put in, um, they requested to put in 2000 about 2000 bucks, let's say, and we've more than doubled. Now, prudently, we should take profits at that point. Take out the 2000 we put in, and then whatever is left, we can ride for a year or so, however long we think, and I'll give my thoughts on it at the end of how my, my plan um and but it's it's now it's the house money you're not spending your own money but they you know decided to say no we, you know we're doing so well it's super early and that happened so quickly let's just continue to see how it go now probably my thought is we're making about fifty dollars a day so let's let's go a little bit to that now let's refresh and look at the gardens so you can see we're up about, what, 1600 or so, 1500 1600 Still, okay, so making a little bit down now. I've been making about um, 40 bucks a day. So when this, if this goes up, when, if, God willing, when this goes up to about $400, $500 a day, making about 150 a day and unlocked or even more, I'm going to start once a month, once a week, 
everything I harvest will go out of the account and into stable coins into something like Anchor on Terra. And that's going to be a whole other topic we'll talk about to where it'll be like a savings account, a savings upon a savings account to just, you know, protect money. Or even out to just fiat, depending on what the group um, vote on. But the see right now we got about fifty four dollars. I'm gonna take that out. So let's go back here because remember, I'm gonna stack X jewel. So I'm gonna put some in the bank a little bit this time, more than I normally do, and maximize the compound. So I'm gonna compound back into I'm gonna harvest those rewards, that interest, and and compound it. The eighth wonder of the world back into uh the gardens i don't have any heroes on this account or in land it's not out yet but if i did i would be working on that on my main account i am especially hopefully we can get some land and then last but not least you know check discord uh, periodically so that you can keep an eye on what's going on being important to keep an eye you know you don't have to be in it every hour or all day you know just periodically it may can be even be once or twice a week like it's your money you know you got money in this um be aware of what's going on always sign the checks you know you, you watch these people how they lose money and at the end of the day they let other people make decisions about their money and so hopefully watching this you you're into the habit of wanting to make your own decisions about your money. So um, be important to check in on Discord to see what is being said about the project. So let's get into that now where we'll go here to the gardens and we'll harvest this 4.33 unlocked jewels. And what we're going to do is convert this into jewel and one and reinvest back into the garden to make more money to make more jewel now what would be my plan if i didn't and i'll go to that in a second um it'd be hard for me to do two things at once i'm not that good that's not giving me a second say one now i want to put about let's say let's put one jewel in the bank so that's 3.4 so let's say 1.7 jewel into one let's do 1.7 two i want to make sure i want oh no i got enough one I was thinking I want to make sure I have enough one to make go back up to 15 to round it back up to 15 um, in it. Make sure I have enough for that. Did I? I did not. Swap. Prefer swap. What I was going to say is that if you, you know, Say you're just starting off a little bit, just you, you're getting your feet wet with this. You're not too sure. You don't want to lose your money. You're a bit fearful. Shouldn't let fear. And I'm going to do a video about the, uh, a kind of the mindset from a from a skills from a psychiatric standpoint of how to how to invest to get over those those ghosts and fears that hold us back. All right. Now let's go here to, so I traded some of my jewel into one. Now I'm going to go here to the druid to make a liquidity pool or a liquidity seed in the game, quote unquote. Mm, in this case, I may have more. I should probably have more jewel when it's all said and done. But at the end of the day, I want to have, so it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Because I want 15 when I leave out of here. So 15 needed to be 93.593, which, you know, I have I have more than enough because I gave myself leave room with the jewel because I was going to give put some in the bank regardless. Confirm. Now that I made this liquidity seed, 
liquidity pool. I'm going to go back to the back to the garden. It's all a circle. Circle of life. Make more money. Life. And. Deposit that seed in the jewel one liquidity garden. Now, I bet you in the future they'll have it where you can actually like see like your, you know, more the garden going there, put more of your so more of your crop in and it start to grow right there. So you can see literally your um, your money growing. And I think they were talking about that. At one point, but they probably haven't got the UI up for it yet, but they will. They will. They will. All right, I'm not going to keep you long. So. What I was saying, going back here. Oh, last thing. Let's go put this money in the bank. Deposit all of that rest of that jewel I have into the bank, which will then convert it into X jewel, which is, you know, basically the stake version of jewel. Hey, this little account trying is trying is doing its best. So what I was going to say is that if I didn't have hero, didn't, you know, didn't have much, what my plan would be in this year, if I had like, you know, 150 bucks, $100, $200, you got to have a little bit of money to get in the game. Um, I would start compounding and I would do what I just did. I would compound and when every, every, you know, probably every two to three days, I would take some, at least one jewel out, some jewel out and put in the bank while I was putting the rest back into the gardens to recompound. And over time, once I got up to, you know, enough to buy a hero, you know, had 50 jewel, 45 jewel, then I would maybe look to see if I wanted a hero, if that's what I wanted at that time, or if I wanted to keep the X jewel. But um, that would be my strategy. So, you know, and because the main point of it is that when I say take profits, my long term with this is like three to five years. I think this is a year to get positioned in behind DeFi kingdoms across all these various chains to see how well they do over the next three to five years where I may be, oh, do I got to get scared and pull my money out? Or will they be going even further than that? So to me, I, I'm, I'm fairly confident that in the next year, easily. So that's why I said I would, if I had a $200, $150, I would really just be right now just trying to stack, build up in my garden, put that garden into uh, um, taking some of the profit. Not all, you know, every week, most of it would be going back into compounding, eighth wonder of the world. But some of it going into the bank, stacking X jewel, which you do get, you know, interest built on that as well. But then turn around to then buy a hero if necessary and kind of keeping my focus on that. Using that hero then to, you know, quest, earn uh, money, level up, be able to, you know, it, 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 it all feeds back into itself. So that's my thoughts and like i said my, my time frame is like a three to five year for this one at this point I'm, I'm fairly confident that they have a special project going if that makes sense and so let's look at the roadmap that was the last one last thing i was thinking of because we're here right now where the meditation circle and the alchemist is being brought out and on a beta gardening and uh, mining are occurring right now. Mining for gold, not for the locked uh, jewel yet, but that's coming within the next week or so. Kingdoms and land and the docks and crystal veil. So here, you, we should be able to get, hopefully get some kingdoms and land, pets and buildings, while at the same time getting in early at the banks, garden and marketplace so that you can get a Gen Zero hero. And this is the plan. Just get in early as much as you can. You know, don't worry if you can't be the number one, have the most of everything. Don't don't have that envy that that envy will make you then feel like, well, if I can't have it all, I don't want anything. And that's silly. You know, get the things you can. They will build upon themselves over time. But I'm not going to keep you long. I love you. You love you. God loves us. And that's all that matters.